<laughs> oh! Last month, we launched our cloning brand, and this is how it's going. So we started a cloning brand, we got a name, we got a why for it, we got a purpose for the brand, we got some designs out, and we got a whole bunch of new merch out. And right now, we're getting a booth together because we're doing the Atlanta Streetwear Market Expo this Sunday, November 20th. I'll be there, my team will be there, come check out some merch. Because we got exclusive drops for Black Friday, and then we'll also have early access for the people who will be there this Sunday. So make sure you come out there, especially if you want to meet the homie, me, of course, who else? I don't know. So this is where we're at. We're kind of getting ready to clean up soon. We got a whole bunch of inventory. We don't know how much we need, but regardless, we're going to be selling it online anyways. We got totes in small, medium, large, extra large, 2X. We got a few 3XLs. You know, I want to be a little more inclusive, but it's kind of hard to, to get those bigger sizes. It costs more for the blanks. It costs more for the prints. But this is where we're at. We got a lot of new designs. So one of my favorite quotes that we've come up for the brand so far, and everybody else liked it, is your darkest hours makes your brightest days. Because for me, those after hours are really those moments and times where you fight your inner demons and like you question yourself if you're great enough for like the things that you're on your path to achieve. And you know, you can either let the after hours get the best of you or you make the best of it. So, so right now we're making like a whole bunch of merch that like promotes your mental health and whatnot and a lot of things along those lines. So right now, this design right here, this is like a ransom note. Um, we got the logo in that style. So it's kind of like you're being held for a hostage. And then it says someone call for help. It's like you're being stuck in your anxiety, you need some help. And then we got like this little retro phone right here. So that's the concept behind that one. We got all kinds of other merch. Of course, a lot of you all are a fan of like this Y2K style design. Some of these we had to do in-house. Some of them we got screen printed. We even have some that was actually done completely cut and sew. In the last video I showed you guys, this picture right here. In the last video, we attempted to come up with a design like this and we sent it to a manufacturer. And this is what we got back. Um, so the front right here is actually embroidered. And then we have this right here embroidered, small. Don't let your time burn. And we actually got the flames in puff. So, you know, when we make content for it, like throw a watch on, look like it's on fire. You can check out this sleeve right here. Don't let your time burn. After hours. So we got 50 of these in green. We also got another 50 of them in black. Um, yeah. So speaking of the booth, since that's where we left off, we're doing it two different ways. We're pretty much gonna have two of each size up here so that people can take it, see how it looks, how it might fit on them. But we're not gonna put all of the inventory on there. You can ask a team member to hand it to you. So that's what, why we have these cubbies back here. We actually got these from Home Depot. These are bins. And then we can pretty much stack all the additional inventory here. And we can leave like the remaining inventory like in the truck or whatever. So it's not gonna be completely full, but if we do need more, we have some more inventory. Uh, for us to go back and get we got one of these bad boys so that right there is a low-lying fog machine so it's pretty much cold fog when it's cold it stays closer to the ground and it doesn't like make everything in this box all cloudy so we think that's gonna be pretty cool we're gonna try that out at the end of this video so make sure you stick around for that i'm looking to get this video up soon and then i think like closer to saturday we're going to be taking this thing down and practicing getting it in the i think we're getting a u-haul so we're gonna throw it in there and see how it goes. This is a 10 by 10 booth. We're kind of hoping we had the 20 by 20, but we got into this uh, expo late, but we're gonna make the best of it. So I like the super simple designs. This one is a really cool one that I like right now. So one thing to keep in mind too, hoodies took up a lot of our capital because like, you know, the blanks cost more and getting it done cut and sew cost more. And we like to sell everything very affordable because we want to be able to get our name out to as many people as possible. It's not necessarily truly about the profit margin, but we're going to get into more cut and sew. There's no way we can handle everything that's going on right now. And we plan on getting into wholesale. So if any of y'all own like a boutique or something, feel free to hit up our wholesale manager, raw at afterhoursbrand.com. And you know, you can get in touch with him about wholesale if you own a boutique or a retail storefront or something like that. And also mention something about me. Maybe we can come in and do some content for it too. That way we can drive some more traffic to your store. But yeah, I like this style tee right here. We just got the logo on the, uh, the left chest and on the bottom, see it's a little different because we got the print down at the bottom. We got like a success disclaimer. So it says each individual success depends on your individual capacity, business experience, expertise, and level of desire. There are no guarantees concerning the level of success you may experience. You only get what you put in. Don't expect more until you do more. See you after hours. So ultimately success is up to you.
right now, like I said, we plan on outsourcing everything um, so that we can focus more on sales and marketing. And I'm looking forward to getting to different style clothing. I want to get into like the tapestry style blanks. We got some Sherpa style hoodies on the way, jackets, stuff like that. And maybe within a few weeks, you know, I'll put out a list of like the manufacturers that I've been using. Um, after I get some more feedback and us ordering a little bit more consistent so we know how good they actually are. So one other thing we've been working on too is we got a whole bunch of hats getting embroidered and I'm trying to get a whole bunch of hat pins. So these are like cheaper style pins. This is just like full color acrylic. I actually got this from stickermule.com. Um, these are actually the cheaper style pins. This is just like an acrylic pen. Uh, the ones that I have in production right now are the enamel style pens, so like each letter and whatnot is a little bit more engraved. And it's actually on one of those metal plates, so it's a little more unique. But these are actually super affordable if you want to start out with this. And it's pretty cool, it's not too bad. So, you know, you could throw it on wherever you want to put it, on the side maybe. I'm not too fan of like putting on this hat right here because I don't want to put an After Hours logo on top of my After Hours logo hat. You know, we got different styles getting embroidered. Um, we're really looking to kind of get the brand into more of like a fast fashion type of style. Maybe something like a little more H&M or Forever 21. It's honestly going to take a lot of capital to keep pushing forward. One other thing you might want to get is these things if you're doing a pop-up shop and you have a rack. These little size dividers so people know where the size is so they can just grab it real quick. One other thing we're working on is getting custom shopping bags. But uh, that's a little delayed too because we got it from overseas. We did get these cheap ones off of Amazon. These are like little bags, but they're black and it's pretty large size and it'll do for now. One other option we did come up with is uh, we ordered some from Uline and we got to ship to our screen printer so that he can screen print the logo on it. So that's another option too, but it's a little bit more expensive. Everything's cheap as to get overseas, but you know, that's the game that you play is that it takes some time. So this right here, just a little black bag. Then you all have dogs. It kind of looks like a poopy bag. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. I'm going to go grab a bag of ice for this fog machine. And we're going to check that out. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. Oh. Yep. All right, so check it out. We got ice now. We're going to put this under the table. And it comes with this cool remote. I thought I was going to have to turn it on and off so that it doesn't get too foggy in here. But like you can change the duration and the intervals of how much the fog comes out. So that's pretty dope. And one other thing that we do have that you might want for your pop-up shop is a steamer. Because like your clothes really do get wrinkled. So make sure you have a portable steamer. You can get like one of the cheaper ones on Amazon for like 20, 30 bucks. All right, here we go. Here we go. So check it out. You got to have some fog juice up in here. And then you put the ice in here. We're going to see how it goes. We ain't got no action. Oh yeah, there should be something there. But well, watch this. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> this shit's fire. All right, that's a wrap for this video. I'm gonna see y'all November 20th this Sunday. Uh, I just got the map for the floor too. We're directly the very center of the entire building. The very center. All right, so make sure you come check us out. Look at that smoke, man. Also, if you support the channel or support the brand, the best way to support the channel is actually purchase them from the brand. Here's a 10% off coupon code and use NINJAS to get 10% off at AfterHoursBrand.com. See y'all next time.